Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the sector, not an asteroid drifted across any vector. Through this pitch darkness a ship of such might, swiftly she drifted, much faster than light. Shimmering faintly, a sparkling field, enveloping energy in a great shield. The battery channels were flowing with charge, powering systems with energy large. Sailing along a void empty and deep, all but a light crew were ready for sleep. The captain in velvet was flowingly robed, reading a passage once theater globed. All of the sudden dimensional rip, out from recliner Picard thus did tip. Wishing this nightmarish crash to abort, the captain looked up and yelled, Status report! Back from the bridge, though, there came no reply. Guess I should go up, he said with a sigh. Swiftly he launched within turbolift tubes, silently cursing those night-shifting rubes. Finally onto the bridge did he dash, tripping and falling, an unwieldy crash. That didn't happen, insisted the man knowing that none would defy his command. Eyeballing data, he asked, What the hell? Did you know that my tea you did spill? That is slant rhyme, sir, the android replied. Breaking the pattern we've thus far supplied, the captain was angry, but hadn't the time to argue in favor of proximate rhyme. Worf chimed in then, his voice grim with dismay. If anyone cares, we've crashed into a sleigh. The captain required tea sooner than later. He ambled across to the food replicator. He ordered Earl Grey. He requested a gallon, fearing the doom once befallen Tim Allen. Well, Picard mumbled a small declaration. Better go get their insured information. Silently, slowly, through vacuum did float a small and red vessel, not unlike a boat. In through the cargo bay doors, thus it drifted, Momentum spurred and tractor beam lifted, still much alive, despite warp-powered beatings. A jolly old fellow gasped out, Season's greetings! Breath then exhausted, he fell from the sleigh to a nonchalant wharf who said, One to Medbury. Christmas has firmly been put off the rails. Sad though they are, I must tell the details. Dasher was dashed on the bow of the vessel, Dancer was tossed through the run known as Kessel. Prancer was blasted to some odd dimension. Nixon exceeded his dear surface tension. Comet at last had achieved his namesake, drifting with cosmic dust filling his wake. Cupid no longer is said to exist. Donner was done in. Blitzen was blitzed. We hit no reindeer, the captain concluded. You say you had some? I say you prove it. I don't think he's lying, said Troy, empathetic. Beverly, meanwhile, no magical medic, was only perplexed by the jubilant guy who all but miraculously wouldn't die. While I see no breaks and he doesn't need stitches, tricorders don't work on fairies and wishes. Seeing his wincing, she offered some drugs. What he needs really, I'd say, though, is hugs. He shall go wanting, the captain said, flinching. Troy simply sighed at his holiday grinching. Oh, my sweet reindeer, to meet such a doom, at light speed collision so deep in vacuum. Never was there a more brutal environment. Furthermore, they were two days from retirement. That really blows, said the captain, impatient, eager to debark this guest at some station. So, anyway, I'm sure you've things to do. We'll drop you off when we reach Deep Space 2. No! interrupted the man with the beard. Picard then knew it was just as he feared. I am that gift giver called Santa Claus. What I say now must give you great pause. Loss of my dear hence has crippled my sleigh. It falls to the Enterprise. Save Christmas Day! You saw that coming was murmured by all. Let's get this over with, never need to stall, instructed the captain, who now, so annoyed, gazed out of the window deep into the void. We're just doing Earth, right? He asked of Saint Nick, praying the job was at least somewhat quick. Santa Claus nodded, returning to slumber, easy when painkillers reach such a number. 
back on the bridge, though, bad news to be found. No censor could sense any sensings around. If I had to say, surely that would resemble a symptom of types of electrical nebula. Good lord, that's awful, spat Captain Picard, insulted quite hard on behalf of the bard. Data, I ban you from poetry hence. Now get those damn sense-sensing censors to sense! Try as he did, though, no scan could perceive through the murkiest depths on this merriest eve. Riker walked in. Sorry I overslept. I hope from some errand I haven't you kept. Picard was once more by this grammar offended. Poetry's murdered this day, he lamented. Listen, Commander, the captain demanded. I think it's high time you went and commanded. Scarce can we see through this devilish fog on this holiest night of the egging of Nog. Find a solution before there's no time, and for love of dear Kalis, please make it rhyme. Riker stopped just for the tiniest blink, then was right in the action, a man of instinct. Charge up the phaser banks now, Mr. Worf. Geordi, account for the relative more for the frame as we energize primary coils. I want to hear that dilithium boil. Worf, fire phasers directly ahead. Forward they rocketed. Onward they sped. Bright was the beam. Mighty the laser. They lit up the nebula red with their phaser. Sensors alit. They were trimmed like a tree. Data could finally use them to see. The mighty space vessel, now free of the blind, directly earthbound her way she could find. Alas, they were too fast, they could not avoid it. The beam swept our home, and it swiftly destroyed it. So ended old Terra, what's left now is rubble. Planet debris and the odd cloud and bubble. The captain was chastened, but still he pressed on. His job was not finished, because Earth was gone. Still, I believe how we've acted was right. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night!